So I've popped down here to a well-known location in Oxfordshire, it's called um, Whittenham Clumps. And uh, it was just a kind of spontaneous trip down here, I think. I've been meaning to come down here for a little while. Um, really, I think, actually, so this is one of the first places I came and photographed after we moved to Oxfordshire, and I did a video from this location, and it's kind of, um, I think it's probably one of the best spots, actually, in Oxfordshire for landscape photography, and funny enough, I haven't actually been back here since that first trip, and so I thought it would be a really good idea to come down before we move away, because um, it would just be nice to get some nice images from here. So I thought I'd come down, I think this is probably going to be the last trip I, I make down here before we go, so um, I was really keen to come down and as I was driving over I could see there were some clouds up in the sky which looked as though we were going to be catching the sun as the sun came up, so I was really pleased just to get down here in time to, throw, to take a couple of images of those clouds. And I've actually just gone for a telephoto shot, so I've got the 70-200mm lens on, it's currently zoomed out to about 120mm. Um, and I've done a couple of landscape shots and portrait shots, but really I'm trying to focus on the trees which are um, up on uh, Badbury Clump, and they're silhouetted against the sky behind and then the clouds behind are just catching, catching the, the light from the sun just before it rises. Um, it's absolutely beautiful, the sun's not quite up yet, um, it'll be up soon. Um, we've got a, f a couple of minutes to go, and um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it turns out when the sun comes up. So the sun is just starting to rise now, it's just coming up above the horizon. Um, so I'm having to, I've switched to, to bracket the images now. So I'm hoping I'm able to get some images with the sun as it's coming through. Um, there's a bit of cloud actually which is just snuffing it out, but actually I think that's okay. Rather than having a bright sun in the image, I think it will work okay. Just have that little bit of, sort of I guess, I guess cloud just breaking up across, across the front of the sun. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, just missing a little bit of mist this morning, that would be absolutely stunning down here. Um, but yeah, this is a gorgeous location. Actually, there's a friend of mine, um, Steph, who I'll, I'll leave a link to her uh, Instagram um, page down below, but go and follow her. She takes a lot of images from this place. Um, she's actually a really great photographer, so um, she, she's been encouraging me to come down here for the last few weeks, and I've been keep saying, yeah, yeah, I'll come, I'll come down. Um, it's just a, it's, it's a little bit of a drive for me to get down here, but um, so I've been putting it off, but she's absolutely right. This place is stunning. So now the sun's come up, it's quite hard actually to take shots without getting lots of lens flare um, in them. But one of the things which I have switched over to doing is just doing a couple of handheld shots, um, zoomed in and just really underexposing it so that those trees are silhouetted uh, with the sun behind it and the sun's actually in shot. And actually I think these images work okay. Um, not something I've tried before, but I think they look okay.
So I've actually just come up a little bit higher and I'm just doing a few handheld shots. Um, from this higher perspective, of the trees are just breaking the horizon, which is a bit annoying. I don't think I can get any higher uh, than I am right now, but um, I think it's okay, just about getting away with it. Um, but behind the trees, there's a lot of haze and the sun's just out of shot, so I am having a few issues with lens flare. Um, I'm trying to avoid that as best I, best I can. Uh, but just by doing some telephoto shots with the trees uh, and then the landscape behind it, because the sun is now just catching that haze, it's almost like a, looking like sort of mist behind the trees, and so I think these shots work quite nicely. So the sun's just getting a little bit too harsh now, so I think I'm going to call it a morning for down here at Whittenham Plums. And um, it's been really nice to come back. It feels like it's a sort of, kind of a bit of closure really, because this is one of the first places I came and photographed when we moved to Oxfordshire. And I had intended to come here a lot more often uh, during my time here, but actually, obviously with the pandemic and things, that um, didn't happen. And I decided to focus on more, more local areas of woodland. Um, but uh, I'm pleased I managed to come down here this morning. I kind of always wanted to photograph this place when there's a little bit of mist present. So actually, if we've got a few weeks left before we move, so if I do have um, any mist that corresponds with a the weekend, then I might try and get down here again. But um, yeah, no, it's definitely a successful morning, I think. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, do uh, let me know what you think of the images below, and I'll see you in the next one.